Tesla's CEO Elon Musk said, Tesla supercharger networks are located in all 50 US states. However, it is still not evenly distributed yet. We also plan to put more charging stations in Texas to accelerate this state's electrification. Moreover, Texas is currently planning to place more electric vehicle charging stations every 50 miles throughout the state to support 1 million EVs to allow for easier long-distance travel. Nonetheless, the electric automaker Tesla still faces challenges when deploying its charging stations in the state of Texas. So what difficulties are they facing exactly? Stay tuned to find out. But before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get started on today's content. One of Tesla's biggest challenges is the Texas grid. Texans have complained to the press that they usually have power outages or weak electrical systems in their homes during peak hours, even at off-peak hours, turning their lives upside down because they have no access to electricity to light the house at night, electric stove, washing machines, and so on, stop working, and phones, laptops, and electric cars cannot be charged. On top of that, if there is a power outage in the cold or summer, it will be a disaster. All of the aforementioned electrical problems stem from the unstable Texas grid. It still has problems when increasing people's demand for electricity, especially during extreme weather. Power demand recently hit a record high in Texas amid a severe heat wave, and will likely break more records this week as homes and businesses blast air conditioners across the country's second most populous state. According to the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, which runs the grid for more than 26 million Texas customers, the demand on the power grid reached more than 75,000 megawatts on June 12th, surpassing a previous record of 74,820 megawatts set in August of 2019. Soaring power usage prompted by extreme weather has triggered concerns over the vulnerability of the state's grid system following a terrible winter storm in February of 2021 that left millions of residents without power for days. At that time, Texas Governor Greg Abbott explained, Though the, the companies that generate the power, uh, their operations have frozen up uh, or have tripwired uh, and are non-operational. In May, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas asked residents to conserve power amid high temperatures by setting their thermostats to 78 degrees or above and avoiding the usage of large appliances such as dishwashers, washers, and dryers during peak hours between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. The request came after six power generation facilities tripped amid the heat resulting in the loss of approximately 2,900 megawatts of electricity. This proves that the Texas grid would be very vulnerable in extreme conditions, assuming that hundreds of additional EV charging stations were installed here. If many people were charging their EVs at the same time with the use of electricity by millions of households in Texas, of course, this would place an additional burden on the Texas grid and will cause the grid to be overloaded. Next, the cost of installing a charging station is enormous. Currently, there are 976 supercharging stations in the U.S. In order to expand the supercharging grid station like the wide distribution of the gas station, according to estimation, Tesla would need to build an additional 31,251 supercharging stations, and at their $250,000 per station cost, that would come out to some $7.8 billion, or roughly 10 times the total annual profits of Tesla. So that's a huge amount of money. Furthermore, the rate of EV ownership among Texans is still low, in which Texas had only 52,190 EVs registered by the end of June of 2021. As of May 31st of 2022, less than 1% of the registered vehicles of Texans are electric, meaning there were only 129,010 electric vehicles registered in Texas. Aside from that, one of the main reasons why Texans are still not interested in EVs is because they are still apprehensive about charging time, despite Tesla's claim that its supercharger is the fastest charging option when you're away from home, allowing you to charge your car up to 200 miles in 15 minutes. This is still not enough to create a strong attraction for car buyers because they still want the charging time for the car to be faster than that. 
Meanwhile, gasoline cars have a much faster refueling time compared with the current EV charging average time. Obviously, the plan to build a lot of charging stations while the number of EV registrations in the state of Texas is so small that it doesn't seem feasible at the moment because Tesla would never break even with such low demand for using EVs. But not only that, according to a source, Tesla was also treated unfairly by some Texas officials. Accordingly, Tesla recently applied for a series of grants through a program in the state of Texas that would cover up to 70% of an EV charging stall installation. However, the applications from the United States' leading electric automaker were denied, despite costs being a fraction of what competitor installations would cost. Also, as per a report, Texas is doing itself a disservice, selecting the most expensive stations in the worst locations for their money. Despite a laid out sheet of ground rules, which tend to gravitate toward impartial and unbiased selections, it does not always work out that way. The $21 million in grants, which are awarded on a first come first serve basis, provided enough funding for 170 chargers at 41 stations. Tesla's applications were not selected for a single project, despite aligning with the grant's requirements, which would have made Tesla installed CHADEMO or CCS connectors, which would open the superchargers up to other car manufacturers. Ultimately, despite the challenges, Texas's plan to install additional charging stations will still create opportunities for EV manufacturers, including Tesla. In a draft plan released in June, the Texas Department of Transportation broke down a five-year plan to create a network of chargers throughout the state, starting along main corridors and interstate highways before building stations in rural areas. In most other areas in the state, there will be charging stations within 70 miles, according to the plan. Each station is designed to have multiple stalls, so there will be likely one available whenever someone stops to charge. The chargers will be high powered at 150 kilowatts, able to bring most electric vehicles from 10% to 80% in about half an hour, according to the report. The funding is coming from the Federal Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act passed last year, which is estimated to allocate about $408 million over five years to Texas for the purpose of expanding its electric vehicle charging network. No funds from the state budget will be used. And that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and also for your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, as well as ring the bell so you won't miss out on the next exciting episode of Tesla Car World. Other than that, Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again soon. Until then, have a good one and be safe.